Hi, hello. So, this is, you know what, I haven't done this in a while. Let's uh, start that again. Oh, this is so difficult to start again. I don't think I ever um, worked out what to do, but now I know to look into the camera. I look into the camera, no, not there. No, because you can tell, I look here. That's great. So, no, uh, why? Why? I think I look like a skinny pig. And again, I just can't speak properly. I was never good at the introductions, so let's just scrap that. Go straight to the point. I still think that's terrible to start with, but you know what? Let's just go for it. So quite a while ago, whilst I was doing my degree, I did do a couple of YouTube videos on here, but I just haven't had a chance to get back to do them. So I thought I'd give that a go again now. Yep, yeah, I want to get back into that, but I just thought for now, get back into standard videos by talking English to the camera and actually being able to finish this sentence would be a great idea. But for now, I've got some exciting news and that is what I want to talk about in this video. This tree that is behind me, really, I never got the hang of this. This tree. It's not Christmassy, there are baubles on there, but it's not a Christmas tree, it's an all year round tree. I've renamed it. It's a everyday tree. It's, yeah. There are baubles, but you know what? I like baubles. I didn't actually have it up at Christmas time, so this is why it's an all year round Christmas tree. No, it's not a Christmas tree, I've just said it. Why have I said that? So the news is I am getting skinny pigs. Oh, the lights changed. Hang on a second, let me redo that. So the news is I am getting some skinny pigs. And I've been looking at getting skinny pigs probably since about last September and I've been doing all my research. The dog wants to come out, one second. I think I'm ready. It is February. September, October, November, December, January, February. Six months. God, I love maths. Initially, my parents weren't the biggest fans of this idea. However, I've shown them that it's something that I really, really want and I'm going to do it, you know? I've been looking around places. I've not really found any breeders that are near me. And there was a pet shop that's quite close by, but they went immediately, all the skinny pigs, so I didn't get a chance to probably go and have a look at them. So I'm looking again now. And what I've managed to do is buy a cage from eBay. So the cages that I've been looking at at Pets at Home, they were great, the bigger ones, the sort of like 160 centimeters, because I wanted to have two skinny pigs. They're, they're quite expensive, they're about 60, and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can get a good one on eBay. So I had a look and I picked one up today for £5.50. I love a bargain. So I picked that up today, and as you can probably see in the corner, I've been putting some things in it. So let's have a little look. So this is the cage I got online. It said it was 100 centimetres, but I actually think so it's about 120. It's quite big. I didn't expect it. it didn't actually fit in the car immediately. So I'm quite pleased with that in a way. And uh, as you can see, I've been trying to put these on. I'm not very good at it. I will get there. This was the water bottle. It's now fallen over there. So the cage came with this little food bowl, this little cubby hole, and the little hay rack over here. But the whole cage cost £5.50. And then this little fleece, that I can't reach because my arms are so tiny like a T-Rex, was £2.50 from Ikea. And I'm probably gonna get a few more. They're quite good, actually. So the hay rack that I've got in the corner, I don't really like, I think it just takes up a little bit. So one that I was trying to get was one that hangs from the ceiling in a little ball, so I can put the hay in there. Obviously with skinny pigs, you've got to keep them indoors, which is why my cage is indoors. That was a stupid comment, well done, Robin. Obviously, I am not ready for a skinny pig this millisecond because I need to get some more things ready for them. They've obviously got no fur, so I need to get some more things to keep them warm. There's a, a lot of fleece objects that I can go and get to get them warm. I've obviously changed my whole room around so I could fit that cage in there. Initially, there was um, it was clothes rail all the way across and I've changed it so that I've got a shelf with some of my things on and then I could put that in the cubby hole. But um, there's obviously a lot that still needs to be done. It still looks quite messy, but I will sort that out. So this was mainly just a video to get me back into this sort of thing. I do 100% want to carry on with doing some more videos and there will be some more craft videos that I will be uploading and I'll be doing some more things like that. I might do some DIY things for guinea pigs, skinny pigs. I'll be posting a lot more about my skinny pigs as well. So what I'm currently doing at the moment is researching online for some skinny pigs. There's a Facebook group that I'm on at the moment that I've just asked about because there doesn't seem to be many skinny pig breeders in my area. So I've put the feelers out there. The feelers out. See if there are any that are sort of close by. I'm just waiting 
for the skinny pigs to become available. Hopefully next time I do a video about the skinny pigs, I will have them in the cage and we can go and have a little look at them. Out of the three videos that I did, I never learned how to say hello or goodbye. Bye. Ooh, great.